News is being made on Twitter more and more often these days. Sometimes even Twitter feuds boil over into news stories. This happened to me recently when a small online feud of mine caused some headlines, strangely enough, in Canada. I got into it on Twitter with Scott Baio, star of Happy Days, Charles and Church, and celebrity Donald Trump supporter. For some reason, it seems Canadians are fascinated with Scott Baio. Uh, in his farewell speech, President Obama said, if you're tired of arguing with strangers on the Internet, try talking with one of them in real life. So here he is. He's a good sport. Here's Scott Baio, everybody. Thank you. Now, you're, you're a good sport for doing this. Um, I, I didn't want to be here. My wife twisted my arm to do this. Well, here's to your wife. She's a good lady. Okay, now, uh, Scott, for context, uh, so people know, do you mind if we just uh, read out our Twitter exchange? Go, man. Okay, now, the president-elect had just said that Meryl Streep was overrated. So I said, right. well, she's no Scott Bayo. <laughs> and then... Mr. Uh, Bayo said, You're no Jay Leno, Tim Allen, Johnny Carson, or even a Conan O'Brien. You see how that works? Ouch. <laughs> so then I said, Burned by the man who caused the fire that burned down Arnold's. And then you say, I didn't say, I didn't say anything after that. You did. You said, okay, you can't remember. You said, who knew folks in Newfoundland were so interested in me? Maybe I'm getting residual checks from Happy Days or Charles oh, in Charge wow, being there. Yeah, because you guys are bored. Yeah. <laughs> What did you think about this when you saw uh, all the interest here in Canada about this little Twitter exchange? What did I think about the interest from Canada? I love the Canadian people. They're awesome. You, how did you find out who I was? Did you see a snarky comment on Twitter and then Google me and say, I'm going to tell this guy off once I find out who the hell this guy is? Mark, yeah. uh, honestly, I have no idea who you are. My wife told me who you are, and I don't really go on the Internet very much. <laughs> Now, you love Donald Trump. You're a very vocal supporter of the man. Now, help us understand, what is it about Trump you like so much? Uh, we haven't seen you speak this highly about someone since Fonzie. <laughs> and Mark, Mark, you're no Fonzie. <laughs> hey! Now, this is the first time you've spoken of Canada. Have a look at this Hollywood Reporter headline. Scott Baio to liberal celebrities. Sorry you have to move to Canada. <laughs> What's wrong with moving to Canada? No, wait a minute. That, you see, you're taking that out of context. That's in context. <laughs> What's okay. your problem well, with me, Canada? Wait, wait, that is in context, so let me clarify. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> my meaning was that they, that they were saying that as the worst possible thing, because if he gets elected, then I have to move to Canada. Right. So I thought, sorry, you gotta go to Canada because he won and you got your asses kicked. So, sor sorry, you guys gotta go. I'm sorry for pointing out you said sorry. Now, <laughs> Trump- but, but wait, wait, Mark. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I like Canada very much. Well, I'm glad you like Canada so, because anyway. if you're wrong about Trump, it'll be the only place for you to go. <laughs> now, Scott, uh, another thing. Were you jealous when Trump met with Family Feud host Steve Harvey the other day? <laughs> Survey says BFFs, were you jealous? <laughs> You know what? I've never been, I was not asked to go to Trump Tower, oh. and I was not asked to be on the Family Feud, so I'm doubly pissed. Screw those guys! So, uh, Scott, I'd like to thank you for coming on. I hope we can put this behind us. Maybe we will see you in four years if a Democrat is elected and you threaten to move to Canada. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show, bud. Thank you, guys. Happy New Year, everybody. Catch all the latest from this season of 22 Minutes. Subscribe to CBC Comedy Now and watch.